Great Britain was the first country to give the green light to the corona vaccine from the French pharmaceutical company Valneva. The responsible supervisory authority, the MHRA, approved the application for people between the ages of 18 and 50 on Thursday. There must be at least four weeks between two vaccinations. This means that a total of six vaccines against the coronavirus have now been approved in Great Britain. According to a statement, MHRA boss uh, June Rain said the approval was given after a strict review of the safety, quality and effectiveness of the vaccine. On February 1st in 2021, the British government uh, announced that it had ordered 40 million more doses, a total of 100 million, of the VLA 2001 vaccine. Six months later, they terminated the contract and accused, uh, accused Valneva of breach of contract. Meanwhile, according to the pharmaceutical association IFPMA, more corona vaccine doses are available globally than can be administered. The vaccine supply currently exceeds the demand, said IFPMA Director General uh, Thomas Gueni in Geneva. Since the start of production towards the end of 2020, around 13.7 billion vaccine doses have been manufactured and around 11 billion have been administered. A total of almost 8 billion vaccine doses could be produced this year, said Kueni. Still, not all people who needed it would be vaccinated. This is not due to the lack of vaccine doses, as was the case until late summer 2021, but to the fact that the vaccination programs in some countries have not fully started. This must be better organized in the event of possible new pandemics. Queni and the bosses of the pharmaceutical companies Pfizer, Albert Burla, Roche Pharmaceuticals, Bill Anderson and Ali Lilly, David A. Ricks, um, criticized ongoing calls to suspend patents on COVID-19 vaccines or drugs. The investments that led to the rapid development of vaccines and medicines were only possible over the years thanks to patent protection. Pfizer, together with the Mainz-based company BioNTech, launched the world's first corona vaccine in December 2020. Pfizer boss Bula hopes to have a new corona vaccine by autumn that works equally well against all virus variants. The aim is also to develop a vaccine that, like influenza, protects against severe disease progression and infection for a year. In Great Britain, infections are rising again after all corona rules have ended. However, Downing Street is strictly opposed to reintroducing regulations. And the elimination of free corona tests and obligation to self-isolate in England is hitting companies hard because of the increasing number of infections. Most sectors are affected, especially companies with, consumer, uh, with customer contact, such as hospitality and retail, said Jane Gretton from the British Chambers of Commerce Association, BCC, at the request of the German press agency. But many employees who can work from home are too ill to do so. Corona remains a significant problem for employers, Gretton said. The situation is exacerbating, exacerbating staff shortages, inhibiting capacity and making services more difficult. She called for cheap or free corona tests to protect employees and prevent infection in the workplace. In the largest part of Britain, England, there have been no corona rules for weeks. The infection figures published daily by the Ministry of Health contain a very high number of unreported cases as test capacities have been reduced and positive cases are only reported voluntarily. According to a study from early April, infections rose to a record level in March. Due to the high number of infections, there are always temporary business closures. Most recently, important airlines such as British Airways and EasyJet had to cancel dozens of connections for days due to corona outbreaks in the workforce. And I'll see you in my next video. Bis gleich.